Hello everyone, I'm Reed Now Zero, and we are back again talking about Sydney Sweeney defending herself against accusations of being over sexualized. I find my power in my femininity is what she responds with essentially. This comes to us from Bounding in the Comics. A Barbarella film is currently in development, and there are already complaints about her using actress Sydney Sweeney to encourage the concept of the male gaze. Yes, because f women don't like to look at hot women on screen. Apparently that doesn't exist. It's only for the male gaze, only for the males. Females don't like to look at hot women, apparently, which is just not true. The Emmy nominee actress is currently set to star in and executive produce a new Barbarella movie for Sony Pictures. The film will be based on the 1968 cult classic movie that starred Jane Fonda as a space adventurer who was sent by Earth, the Earth's the president to retrieve the evil scientist Duran Duran from the Tau SETI planetary system. The Sony-backed project is far from seeing the light of day as a writer and director has yet to be selected for the project. Sweeney is known... Sweeney, who is known for her role in the HBO series Euphoria, is excited to play the cult classic character on the big screen and she is dismissing any concerns about portraying the more sexually charged aspects of the story. In an interview with Variety, Sweeney said that displaying femininity on screen is not a concern she is worried about with the role. Quote, I found power in my femininity, she said. I use my brain and I use everything that I'm learning every single day in this industry as my power. Knowledge is everything. It's 100%. Information is power. The actress's upcoming cinematic project had drawn the ire of feminists who object to the film's flirtation, arguing that Barbarella will use Sweeney's appeal to drive male audiences to the cinema. Well, no crap. That's the whole point of Barbarella. She's supposed to be hot. And yes, they're going to drive males because males like to look at hot chicks in movies. And so do women. Other women like to look at other hot women in movies. It's not that hard to figure out, you weirdos. Many progressives likened the original film movie to a bad corn film and criticized the project for propping up the image of a buxom blonde that modern Hollywood has tried to purge from the industry, especially in the late last decade of film and movies. The original Barbarella J. Fonda has also commented on Sweeney and Sony Pictures' upcoming endeavor, expressing concern over what the final product might end up looking like. Nobody cares what you have to say. You're a washed-up actress. No one really cares. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter via People, Fonda admitted that she tries not to think about the new Barbarella. Quote, because I worry about what it's going to be. Again, you shouldn't be worried about it. You should be worried about your, about your irrelevancy, about your own career. No one actually cares what you think. You are a Hollywood elite. You are hired and paid to play a character. No one actually cares. I had an idea of how to do it that original producer Dino De Laurentiis when he was still alive wouldn't listen to, but it could be it could have been a truly feminist movie and it would have flopped and then you would have blamed it on men as Hollywood has been doing with all these types of trash films. You make this feminist messaging film, you say it's not for men, and then when men don't see it, you say, Oh my god, men bad, men you didn't see this movie, I blame you for it failing. <coughs> We don't need a truly feminist movie. We just want to watch a movie. In her interview with Variety, Sweeney had actually addressed Fonda's comments, declaring that she would absolutely love to speak to the original Barbarella actress and tell her that the 1968 film is about seeing women own their power. Exactly. This isn't the first time that Sweeney has had to fight back against accusations of using her appeal in her roles. Last week, Sweeney had to defend Euphoria creator Sam Levinson from Backlash that had, she had done this to the women on the show. Who cares? It sells. You have me. You have Zendaya. You have all these all these very strong-minded, independent women. If we didn't feel comfortable with something or if we saw something we didn't like, we'd all speak up. Sweeney told Variety with questions about the nature of the show. She added, quote, It's hard to see someone completely trashed by the public and the media when there's no one's actually there. We are there and we're clearly, we're still working on the show and we're still supportive. Sweeney told the outlet that despite the media's claims that she is being taken advantage of by playing the role of Cassie Howard on the show, Sweeney says that she has grown in her confidence for playing in playing the role. 
The point is making people uncomfortable with thinking outside the box, Sweeney noted, acquiring, what else is the point of art? For me, I feel so free and confident now, and I found that through Cassie, the actress concluded. Sweeney has found her having to defend her perceived image in the media multiple times over the course of last year. Last August, Sweeney and her family took heat from social media because during, during her mother's 60th birthday party in Idaho, various members of her family wore MAGA and inspired clothing, which led to people to believe her family were Trump supporters. Who cares? If they support a president you don't like, shut the hell up. No one cares. Honestly, I don't know why people care so much about who they support. Who cares? Attendees at the party wore MAGA-style parody hats that read, Make 60 Great Again. Because it's always this, Oh, he's wearing a red hat with white, They're wearing a red hat with white lettering, Therefore, it must be MAGA. It's like, These people are weird. Those types of people are weird. They're typically leftists. It's typically how it goes. You can't even support a candidate you like anymore. It's like, The worst thing in the world, apparently. <clears throat> To celebrate her, her Sweeney's mother's birthday, which angered social media users of being too closely associated with former President Donald Trump, so some went so far as to accuse her family of racism. Even though Trump's not racist, you guys are just dumb, and you you are brainwashed by everything the media tells you because you're gonna and you're gonna continue to be brainwashed by whatever the media tells you because they are essentially the arm of the state, they're the arm of daddy government. Quote, you guys, this is wild. An innocent celebration for my mom's milestone 60th birthday has turned into an absurd, absurd political statement, which was not the attention. The actress wrote on Twitter following the backlash, please stop making assumptions. Much love to everyone. Happy birthday, mom. So, a heartfelt message. <clears throat> to which someone responds, nah, I'm sorry, I can't support someone who has a racist family either. You're making assumptions that they're racist because you are a racist yourself, because that's what racists typically do. Read the comment left. Read the comment left by a disgruntled Twitter user. Essentially, a weirdo. They probably have pronouns in bio and all that nonsense. Just say you're part of a racist family and move on. Again, making assumptions about somebody else when you know nothing about their family. You're an idiot. Twitter user, I Eric Cordova wrote, "Lol, not Sydney Sweeney hanging out with her Blue Lives Matter, MAGA wearing family." Again, you're an idiot. You're a dumb leftist. You probably listen to mainstream news because you're dumb and you're brainwashed and you're a sheep. You've probably had every jab in the jab of the latest thing. Everyone claims to be progressive and allies, but go home to their raggedy racist families with the excuse they're still family. Because they're not wearing the thing that you claim, you dumb ass. It would be interesting to see what the new Barbarella project moves forward in the hands of the modern progressive Hollywood. Again, people on the internet just want to be nasty. They just want to be an idiot. And they just want to be who they want to be. Accusing everybody of everything that they probably are because the, those who preach the loudest always have the most to hide. Thank you all for checking out this video. I really appreciate all new subscribers. Turn subscribers, new viewers, turn viewers. If you do like this video, hit that like button. Comment below if you feel about all this. Subscribe, subscribe for more content. Hit the bell for notifications. Set the bell to all that regular notifications. Anytime I post a new video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.